Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Who planned the time of the Artsakh war? Azerbaijani authorities have no intention to resume peaceful dialogue. President of Artsakh, Artsakh Defense Minister Jalal Harutunyan is injured. Local battles taking place in several parts of the frontline Artsakh Defense Army. Armenian youth in the U.S. declare hunger strike to protest Azerbaijan-Turkey aggression against Artsakh. News from Western Armenia. One way or another, consciously or accidentally, there is a reality that we must emphasize. Every hundred years, Tayyip Erdogan goes step by step on the bloody traces of his own history. There is a lot of evidence of Erdogan's direct intervention in the Artsakh war. He continues to prove it with the presence of his military personnel, F-16s, UAVs, direct air surveillance, jihadists transformed from Syria, with his open messages broadcast daily. But there is also a very interesting contradiction which is expressed in the starting day of this war. It allows us to perceive it as Erdogan's conscious choice about wartime, to read it as a code. The starting day of this war coincides with the 100th anniversary of the previous Turanian invasion. On September 28, 1920, under the command of the Ankara government, the Army of the Eastern Front launched an offensive against Armenia. On September 27, 2020, under the secret command of Ankara, the Azerbaijani army started a war against the Artsakh Republic and the Republic of Armenia. You can find the whole article on our website. The president of the Artsakh Republic, Aray Karutunyan, states that despite the efforts of the OSC Minsk group Kochir countries to establish a humanitarian ceasefire in the region, the military political leadership of Azerbaijan continues to ignore and violate all the agreements reached for that purpose. President of Artsakh, Aray Karutunyan, posted the following on his Facebook page. Dear compatriots, in defiance of the efforts exerted by the OSC Minsk group Kochir countries aimed at establishing a humanitarian ceasefire in the region, the military political political leadership of Azerbaijan continues ignoring and violating the agreements reached in this respect. As in the previous two attempts, Azerbaijan has again grossly violated the agreement reached through the mediation of the United States of America and with the OSCE means group co-chair country's participation, which reaffirmed the commitment of the respective parties to implement and abide by the humanitarian ceasefire agreed in Moscow on October 10 and in Paris on October 17, at the initiative of the President of the Russian Federation and President of the French Republic correspondingly. Especially in the afternoon, Azerbaijan has resumed offensive military operations along the entire front line using missiles and artillery. All of this confirms that Azerbaijani authorities have in the unreserved patronage of Turkey and supported by the mercenary terrorists have no intention to resume peaceful dialogue and send an explicit message that they will continue their military efforts towards the final ethnic cleansing of Armenians from Artsakh. Thus, our task is to struggle so that the Armenians of Artsakh could have an existence in freedom and dignity in their homeland, mentioned Arayi Karutunyan. The Minister of Defense of the Artsakh Republic, Jalal Harutunyan, was injured. On this occasion, by the decree of Artsakh President Arai Karutunyan, Major General Mikhail Arzumanyan was appointed Minister of Defense of Artsakh, Commander of the Defense Army. For the second time already, the Azerbaijani press is spreading false information about Jalal Harutunyan that as if he has been killed. Artsakh President Spokesman Bahram Pogosyan on Tuesday morning wrote about this on Facebook. Let me say right away that Jalal Harutunyan's life is not at risk, unfortunately, the wound he sustained in one of the combat positions is not severe, and we will return to the army ranks very soon. President Arai Karutunyan has entrusted the fulfillment of those difficult obligations to General Mikhail Arzumanyan Pogosyan added. I wish Jalal Harutunyan a speedy recovery. I am sure that he will return to service in the homeland very soon. Arai Karutunyan wrote on his Facebook page. The situation in the Artsakh Azerbaijani conflict zone remained relatively stable but tense throughout the night. Artillery battles continued in some areas, Artsakh Defense Army informs. In the evening, Azerbaijani forces made active use of UAVs, some of which were hit by the Armenian Air Defense Forces. The advisory continued shelling peaceful settlements, including the towns of Martuni, Martagert, and the villages of the northern part of Askeran region. At the moment, local battles are taking place in several sections of the front line. The Defense Army continued continues to fulfill its combat objectives, keeping the tactical situation under its control. 
Germany and Youth Federation of the United States have declared a hunger strike in protest of the military aggression of Azerbaijan and Turkey against Artsakh. The protesters demand the international recognition of Artsakh and the imposition of sanctions on Baku and Ankara. We will not stop until these tyrannical governments and their leaders halt this gross humanitarian violation. The Armenian people will not stop, they added in a statement. A 500-year-old plane tree was taken under protection in Marash, Western Armenia. The monumental tree was dug by the shepherds and set on fire. Due to the burning and cutting of some branches, the Ministry of Nature Protection and Urban Development took steps and took the historical folklore tree under its protection. The supposedly 516-year-old plane tree has simply became a symbol of the region. Lake Arangyoli in Alashkert province of Agar, which is located in a high mountainous region, admires with its beauty. The lake is hidden between the mountains is waiting for visitors. The lush green vegetation at the bottom of the water also reveals the beauty of the lake. Now let us represent your attention a song by Andranik Manukyan. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.